I lived in my home for 10 years and it was wrongfully taken from me. My home was stolen from me. Identity theft. I have asked for due process in DeKalb County, Georgia Superior Court. My house that has been paid for since 1979 was stolen from me. And my home of nearly 10 years was stolen from me by fraudulent foreclosure practices. Right now, we're going to take a closer look into the rising concern of property fraud and how you can potentially try and prevent it from happening to you or someone you might know. But first, welcome back to my channel where I share all the tips and tricks to help you achieve your homeownership goals. If you are new here, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for any future videos. Stealing your home without you even knowing it. A terrifying thought we're hearing about more and more in Shelby County. What's worse, it's not easy or definitely not cheap to get your property back. Title fraud, or more commonly known as quit claim deed fraud, is what we're witnessing. This is when a criminal impersonates the property owner and forges documents to transfer ownership or secure loans against the property. They may then sell the property or take out mortgages, leaving the legitimate owner unaware until they face legal complications, and it's happening more and more all across the country. I owed them a few dollars. Nothing brings a light to this Ellenwood home quite like Eric Clark. Uh, paperwork back and forward. He's been the owner of the DeKalb County property for 20 years. Okay. Until now. He said that he was the new owner. Littered on the table, documents detailed the dilemma. July 2022, a real estate agent left a letter on Eric's front door stating this property has been foreclosed and purchased by Ace Homes LLC call to discuss. Records appear to show he took out a second mortgage loan on the home. He never made payments, forcing it to default, leading to the foreclosure. But Eric never paid it because he says it was not him, claiming the second mortgage loan has his signature forged. I've never had a second mortgage, just the bottom line. And I'm no fool, you know, I, I know right from wrong. Eric filed multiple DeKalb County police reports alleging this is fraud. The 56-year-old described to police, quote, fake documents to steal his house, citing the realtor, Mehboob Omar, wrongfully has the deed to his home. Well, I've been stressed out. I had to speak to a psychiatrist. I was just, just lost in the shuffle. My house literally was stolen. Fair housing advocate John Fisher told Atlanta City Council in a September 5th meeting He's uncertain how, but someone wrongfully obtained the deed to his home, too, saying there are hundreds of similar but unrelated cases, all a part of a pattern. The issue is out of control. Across the metro. They're creating documents that do not exist in the forms of a foreclosure deed or a power of the deed in the process without any proof. Title fraud is a significant concern because it can affect virtually anyone. This deceptive practice is facilitated by easy access to property records, sophisticated techniques employed by fraudsters, delayed discovery by victims, and a lack of awareness among property owners. Additionally, it's concerning that county clerks often have limited tools or resources to prevent or detect title fraud further highlighting the need for stronger preventive measures and public awareness to address this widespread issue. Do you feel helpless in those kind of situations? We really do. Douglas County Clerk of Superior and State Court, Annetta Danley Stembridge. Our hands are really tied. Under current Georgia law, clerks like Stembridge cannot require IDs from people when they come into the clerk's office to file deeds, liens, or any other type of property paperwork. We cannot question what people file. So it's the honor system. Simply put, anyone can file documents on your home as long as the paper appears to be legitimate and filled out. We have to accept it. Steinbridge recalls times families show up to the office only to learn their home is no longer theirs. It is a horrible feeling and just to see, you know, the looks on their faces and, you know, like that's that whole family's inheritance, you know. 
gone down the drain. So what exactly can a homeowner do to prevent something like this from happening? It's really one of those frustrating things other than going to court to figure it out through that entire legal process. The more immediate thing a homeowner can do is sign up their property for a notification system. It's called a property fraud registry. Mm. The entire state has one, but you're each, each county you're in, DeKalb County, Fulton, Douglas, some of the big metro counties, they have their own. Um, but we refer people to the state because anybody can file paperwork on your property wherever they're at in the state. So it, it's easier to kind of just go through the statewide website. And all you need is your name, your number, your email address, and any time paperwork is filed against your home, deed, liens, anything like that, you'll be immediately inert, uh, alerted or notified that someone has done something with your property. The downside is, though, it doesn't stop the property fraud or at least the allegations of it. It just puts you ahead because in Eric Clark's case, he didn't find out until it's way too late. So if something mm. were to happen, at least you're ahead of the game on it.